This video will cover the topic using the rational zeros theorem to find all zeros of a polynomial, rational zeros. Let's look at the function h of x equals 6x cubed plus 31x squared plus 4x minus 5. Our goal for this problem is to use the rational zeros theorem to find all the zeros. This function has at least one rational zero. We need to use this fact to find all the zeros of the function. Let's start with the rational zeros theorem. And the rational zeros theorem, we learned that the zeros of a polynomial can be written as p over q. Where p represents all the factors of the constant term, and q represents all the factors of the leading coefficient. So the constant term is negative 5, and the leading coefficient is 6. So we'll write down all the factors of the constant term negative 5 first. These are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 5. The factors of q, which are 6, are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6. Now we will list all the possible rational zeros of the, of the polynomial 6x cubed plus 31x squared plus 4x minus 5. We will do this by writing all the combinations of p over q. We'll start with plus or minus 1 and write it over all the q terms, and then we'll, and then we'll write plus or minus 5 over all the q terms, written like so. So we have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1 half, plus or minus 1 third, plus or minus 1 sixth, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 5 halves, plus or minus 5 thirds, and plus or minus 5 sixths. So we have 16 possible rational zeros for h of x. So we need to take each of these individually and plug them into h of x, as in plug them into x, until we find one that causes h of x to equal 0. Doing this, I found that negative 5 is a 0 for h of x, because if I plug negative 5 in for x in this polynomial, I'll get h of x equals 0. Therefore, negative 5 is a 0, and x plus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. This particular polynomial could not be factored using traditional factoring methods. So because we use the rational zeros theorem, we were able to get x plus 5 as one factor, and then we can use synthetic division to figure out, to simplify this polynomial and figure out the other factors eventually, and then get our actual zeros. So to do this, we take negative 5, we box it in, and then we write the coefficients of h of x, which are 6, 31, 4, and negative 5. We bring our 6 down, and we multiply it by negative 5 to get negative 30. Then 31 minus 30 equals 1. And we multiply that by negative 5 to get negative 5. And then negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, which we multiply by negative 5 to get positive 5. Negative 5 plus 5 equals 0, proving that negative 5 was a 0, and it simplifies our polynomial to this. This quotient we have here is now brought down by 1 power. So it starts with x squared. So we have 6x squared plus x, because it's plus 1x, minus 1. So if we multiply this by x plus 5, we would be left with 6x cubed plus 31x squared plus 4x minus 5. Now 6x squared plus x minus 1 can be factored, and we can get two other factors, which will leave us with our three factors, which will then leave us with our final zeros. To factor 6x squared plus x minus 1, we multiply 6x squared by negative 1, and this with negative 6x squared. I want to find two factors of negative 6x squared that add up to equal positive 1x. Here we, we see that positive 3x and negative 2x multiply together to equal negative 6x squared, and when we add them together, 3x minus 2x is positive 1x. So we'll split this up into two sets of parentheses. 
we'll find the greatest common factor between 6x squared and 3x. We find this to be 3x. And then we find the greatest common factor of 6x squared and negative 2x, which we find to be 2x. Now we want to see 3x times what equals 3x? It is positive 1. So 3x and positive 1 on this side. And then 2x times what equals negative 2x? It's negative 1. So our, our three factors are 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 5. When we set this all equal to 0, which we do for finding zeros of a polynomial, we start with this first factor. We get that x equals 1 third. For this factor, we get x equals negative 1 half. And for this factor, we see that x equals negative 5. And these are our three zeros for the polynomial 6x cubed plus 31x squared plus 4x minus 5. And we began this by using the rational zeros theorem, which we were then able to plug into synthetic division, simplifying our polynomial, which can then be factored, leaving us with three final factors, which get us our final zeros.